Hey family, what's going on? Klaus here and welcome back to Fix That Engineer here on our Town Hall 11. And there's only a couple of episodes left, guys. I am completely confident now, after some staring at this base, that only my laboratory is really holding me back. Let's look at the stuff that needs to be done. Lightning spell, one level. Invisibility spell, I believe two levels. And skeleton spell, I believe one level i might be wrong because i looked it up like a week ago uh but the point is i believe that we're going to be able to finish off this series uh, on episode number 200 exactly episode number 200 so if you're stoked about that then let me know in the comments this is going to be an excellent playlist I and mean, it's going to be perfect right it always shows you how many videos are left in the playlist or how many videos are in the playlist it's going to say 200 exactly people are going to be curious about that so pretty sweet i'm, I'm super excited about that so uh guys today i'm going to begin by doing a laboratory upgrade of course and the only dark elixir upgrade that I have is this skeleton spell. Now, uh, nothing else, right? Yeah, okay, so I'm gonna definitely do the dark elixir upgrade. Now, it's six and a half day upgrade, so technically seven days, 60,000 dark elixir. This is this this is why I max out my dark elixir every single time, guys. This is why, because it takes, it's only, it's cheap. It's only 60,000 dark elixir. That's cheap. And um, seven days, I'm, I'm gonna be able to get 60,000 dark elixir in like two days, so. Yeah, it's the real deal. So let's do this, guys, in three, two, one, bam! Nice. Now, I do have this book of spells. I could use it, but then I uh, would run out of content, and I would only make it to 199 episodes. I do want that square to 100 episodes. And by the way, before we go into the attacks, be sure and like this video if you're enjoying it, and if you do like it at the end of the video, be sure and smack that like. Subscribe, join the class family for daily gaming videos. Um... We do every day Clash of Clans videos, and it is an absolute blast. And Fix the Engineer will be ending, and of course, I have ideas for bringing in a new series. So be sure and ring that bell for notifications, because big things are coming to this channel uh, in the next probably couple of weeks. 2021, it's going to be a big year. All right, so let's go in with some raids, guys, and smack some bases. Now, I've got some... Ooh, I'm a Town Hall 11. I do not want... I don't want to hit a Town Hall 13 as a Town Hall 11. Um, and I also do want to make sure that I find plenty of loot, all, all the loot. Um, it would be super, super cool if I was to somehow get to 9 million gold in the elixir today so that I can do three plus three, six walls, um, before the, uh, the end of, how many walls are left? I, I'm pretty sure I told you guys at the end of the last video, I can't remember what, how much, how many is left. I cannot remember. So, ooh, actually, that's pretty good. Over half a million gold. That's perfect. I'll, I'll, I'll go ahead and hit this base. So, uh, starting over here, I'm going to go in basically to where the, uh, the wall wrecker will go straight down the middle and take out this eagle artillery. And then, of course, I, uh, I want my, um, my heroes to also follow in behind. So, check this out. I'm going to come in from the side. Okay. Uh, six finger deployment here. Just like so. Perfect. And then wall wrecker down the middle to where it actually, you know, does tons of damage as it just innocently charges through the middle of the base. Uh, and I'm gonna send in the king and the queen directly behind and make sure that they actually get into the base. So everything is looking really good so far. No clan castle troops that I can tell. So that is awesome. Let's go ahead and drop a heal. And you know what? I'm gonna drop a heal out here too. Those expos are brutal, bro. Absolutely brutal. Let's pop the wall wrecker, or I'm sorry, the warden's ability just to keep that wall wrecker alive through that single target targeting inferno. We got a poison spell on this queen. Everything's looking perfect so far, guys. I've only got one heal spell left though, so I definitely want to save it for this. The twin towers. We got two uh, wizard towers at the very top and at the very bottom down there. So uh, rage and heal. Get that core nice. And gutted. Now this king's gonna get roasted. Looks like ooh, he's done. Single targeting infernos are brutal, dude. Absolutely brutal. All right, I'm gonna get a couple of arches on that far corner, and they should just kind of help speed up the process a little bit of swinging around this base. This is easily gonna be a three star, guys. I'm calling it right now. Uh, a little prematurely, maybe, but that's because there's really not a lot of base left, and every single defense that's left that's gonna be of any consequence is within the queen's range as long as she gets outside the base. So this is looking really good. So queen, I need you to break through. Or, you know, the, the, the miners could do it. The, mi the miners could get the job done. She, they don't even need the queen's help. Check this out. Look at that split, guys. Oh my goodness. 
That is beautiful. Yeah, the Wizard Tower is so done. I'm gonna pop this Queen's ability just for health recovery purposes. Although I think it happens automatically now since that update win life. But all, all good. There you go. So with the loot bonus, that is over 770,000 gold. One of my favorite numbers. Popping up twice. Seven. And then uh, 485,000 elixir. Plenty of dark elixir. So if I wanted to get to 9 million elixir... Ooh. Wait a minute. I forgot about the treasury. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. I... <laughs> <laughs> I had no idea. I've got so much loot, bro. I've got so much loot. Yeah, that that is beautiful. Okay, so um, I'm not worried about getting to 9 million. What if I was to get to 12 million? How about that? Um, I can hold a grand total of 10. So um, the next raid really does need to be a, a beast. So let's go ahead and request. And I'm going to donate to myself here. And I fixed my Wi-Fi problem, by the way, so it should just automatically connect. I had um, two separate routers, and now I have a mesh router system. Have Merry Christmas to myself, right? So, let's do, let's do this. Bada bang, bada boom. Right on. All right, cool. So, I've got my CC troops. I have no warden. I have no king. But what I do have is a queen. That she's, she's all you need, right? She Happy queen, happy life. Something like that. I don't know. And I'm looking for 500 or more thousand gold. Okay, that's going to be my goal. I'm not going to worry too much about the elixir just because it's... I'm not, I'm not quite there yet with my elixir. But with my gold, if I can get to uh, 9 million just straight up, that would be amazing. So let's see if we could find a monstrous space. And notice I'm not paying attention to dark elixir at all. I mean, that's just simply because this strategy, I get Dark Elixir profits so much, I don't even have to think about it, and that is, that's good. I don't want to have to think if I don't have to, right? I mean, don't don't you agree? Who wants to think more than they have to? Nobody, right? <laughs> oh, man. Anyway, so guys, I hope you're having a great day. Let me know in the comments how great your day is, or if it's not so good, you know, I hope that it gets better. That is absolutely the key. And if you need any help, the Klaus family will help you out in the comments of today's video or in my Discord server. Be sure and check that out if you haven't already. The link is in the description. All right, so guys, I found a base that's nearly 500,000 gold. It's, it's a good amount of loot, though. And remember, I got my loot bonus. I always forget that. That's going to be 200,000 plus. So let's attack this base from... Uh, let me think here. King and Queen are on this side. Let's attack from this side. I, I usually like to take on the base from the Eagle side just because it gets me in, in on that uh, troop earlier. But... I don't feel like it this time, but this, this base just doesn't seem to jive quite that well with strategy like that. So, uh, Queen following behind the wall wrecker. I've got three heal spells because there was a lot of splash damage. We got the Eagle Artillery firing down. So, uh, now what I'm going to try to do, actually, you know what? Heal right into this core. Drop a poison on this Queen. Okay? And then I'm going to heal and I'm going to rage the core. Okay? Poison spell over the Queen. That's going to be a huge help. Very nice. And I've still got two archers. Let's see where I can put those. I'm going to put one on this corner hut and put one on this army camp. There we go. So now the only thing I need to worry about is the queen's ability. I believe that the troops are going to get it done. We're going to get a three star again today, guys. Lots of loot. And I've already almost got to 70%. So we're going to get a full loot bonus. So already. So, uh, man, I don't know how to explain this any better. I've said it so many times on this series. And there's a lot of people that don't watch the playlist. They just watch videos as they come. So I do a lot of repeating because people don't watch the previous videos. Uh, but I say this all the time. Literally the greatest attack strategy you can even come up with at, uh, at Town Hall 11 is Mass Miner. And the reason being is because, again, Dark Elixir is such a huge grind. It is perfect for getting Dark Elixir, but it's just super powerful. I mean, you guys can see three-starring other Town Hall 11s left and right. This is actually the strategy that I use in war all the time, too. So I have no complaints. This is literally my well, my wheelhouse right here. I love it. So uh, Queen could just... Well done. Good job. With the help of the Miners, we got another three-star. No Warden, no King, Three stars still, not too shabby. So that was with that loot bonus of 679,000 gold in the elixir and uh, 5,000 dark elixir. I've, I've, I'm, I mean, I'm going to max up my dark elixir so fast, especially once I collect this treasury. And it looks like I've actually gone up to uh, Champion League 2. Very nice. All right. Making my way up. Not, not really doing it on purpose. It's just kind of happening naturally. So now let me go into my progress base. I have a tree in the way. Oh, of course, this, this one. Let's move this tree and I'm going to put it... Uh, I want to put it down here. It's kind of roughly close to the other ones that I've got. Yeah. 
Okay, I don't think I've got anything else in the way. Perfect. Okay, so I how many walls did I actually have left? Ten. Okay, I should have remembered that. That was like the title of the video. Ten walls left. Well, um, so today we're going to do a lot of them. Y'all ready? I'm ready. So let's do one, two, and three with gold. Let's do two more with the elixir. That was five, so I'm halfway done. I only have five left. And now if I collect my treasury... We may, yes, I'm going to be able to do at least one more wall with Elixir. There you go. That's amazing. So now I've got four walls left here on Fix That Engineer. I never thought I was going to get to this point. I mean, I really didn't. Fix That Engineer seemed to just drag on forever. Just because Town Hall 11 is a huge grind. Same thing with Town Hall 12 and 13. They're huge grinds. They take a long time. It's a it's a huge uh, feat of, of success if you actually finish it. And that's what we're doing. We're only four walls away. That's literally 12 million loot from finishing our walls. And that is amazing. And that's why I said at the very beginning of today's video that the grind is going to be dictated by the laboratory. I'm so close. I've got, I, I, again, I'm not sure how many levels of the skeleton spell, but I'm pretty sure only one level of lightning spell and maybe two levels of the invisibility spell. And that's it. And that's it. Game over. Town Hall 11 is completely maxed out. And remember where we started. Everybody needs to go watch the first episode of Fix the Engineer. You can find it in the playlist. It's easiest to find it there. Uh, but it, we literally started with nothing. We had nothing when we started this. No defenses. One cannon. No walls. And now look at us. We are so, so close. In fact, I would say three or four episodes away. I, I don't know. Terrible with remembering which episode number this particular episode is, but we're so close. It's absolutely fantastic. I'm so, so excited. And again, four walls left. This is a big deal. So guys, that's going to do it for me today. This episode of Fix an Engineer. Thank you all so much for tuning in, for supporting this series. It has been an absolute blast over this past two plus years. Yes, guys, it has been an epic grind. Not quite as epic as Rush to Max will be, but still pretty dang epic. So guys, like the video if you liked and subscribe if you haven't already for daily gaming videos, as I mentioned already at the beginning of the video. Don't forget to ring the bell for notifications so you can be one of the first to see the new videos and so that you know that videos have gone live. And then, of course, don't forget to use the creator code to support your favorite content creator with your in-game purchases, whether or not you buy the gold pass or special packs or whatever. You just want to make sure that you use a creator code. That creator gets a small percentage of that purchase. It's a way to give back while still getting the thing that you buy. So if you want to make sure that it's active, because it's not always active, it it, it uh, expires every seven days. Okay, so you go into your shop, look for the little white C at the top right hand side. As you can see, I've got mine. But if it wasn't there, use the link in the description or input that code manually. Guys, that's all for me. Remember that I love each and every one of you, and I will see you all again next time.